Here we have a car moving at uniform velocity. Here's an xt position time graph, a vt velocity time graph, and an at acceleration time graph. For uniform velocity, a position time graph is a straight line with a slope. The slope, the gradient, tells us the velocity. In this case, the slope is positive, meaning that the velocity is positive. What does that mean? It's moving to the right. We define positive as to the right. We also notice that the position is always positive. We don't make this graph go beneath the zero line at all. And that's because this car moves from the reference point to the right, so it's always on the right-hand side, on the positive position of the reference. And so the position is always positive, and because it's always heading to the positive direction, the slope, the gradient, is also always positive, the velocity is always positive. The gradient doesn't change, it's always a slope of the same steepness because it's moving at a uniform velocity. In the velocity time graph, we see that there's only one velocity, the gradient is zero. It's a straight line with a flat gradient, with a zero gradient, no gradient. And that's because it's not accelerating. The gradient of a velocity time graph tells us the acceleration of the motion, and this is not accelerating. The velocity is always constant at 10 meters per second, which is the gradient of the xt graph, and it's positive 10 meters per second because it's always moving towards the right. Its velocity is positive. It's not accelerating because the motion is uniform, so we can see that the at graph is a straight line at the zero level of acceleration. So let's watch this car moving. Constant velocity, increasing position at a regular rate, velocity always constant, no acceleration.